Hi you guys, so I'm here. I got my favorites for you. And I figured I would show you the things that I have been loving um, and using every single day. And um, let me know what you guys are thinking about the items that I chose. Okay, this is not um, like beauty related, but I have been sick for months now. And everybody knows if you've been watching me, um, I have been really, really sick. And the thing that has gotten me through feeling better, feeling good, um, has been, honestly, this is like a generic brand and this is comparable to Sudafed. This has let me function to go to work, to go to school, to do whatever it is that I needed to do. And this is just a nasal decongestion and it doesn't give you the drowsiness or anything. This has been fantastic. So if you're sick and you've got all this gunk all up in your nose and then your head is all clogged up, um, that has been fantastic. And it doesn't, it doesn't affect me in a negative way whatsoever. I really like, I can just function. So that has saved me. I love that stuff. If you don't know what you're, what to take and you just need something that is just gonna clear you up up here, that's it. The other thing, my nose has gone through all kinds of hell, to be honest. Um, I use so many different types of tissues and Kleenex and whatever. And this one, this is Kleenex. They have the one with lotion. I think, does this one have the lotion one? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, this one has the lotion in it. I can feel it. Um, but they also have one that has like Vicks in it. Those have been a lifesaver. And my nose has been so loving this thing because I've used other ones. Oh my gosh, my poor nostrils have been so sore from blowing and blowing and blowing. And my eyes have been watering and this has been so nice to my face. So this Kleenex with the lotion and the one with the Vicks, the balm. All right, on to beauty. Okay, so first thing that I've been using, um, I got this recently. This is the Professional Matte Rescue and it just comes in a box like this. I think I showed it in a haul video. I'm really not sure. Anyway, so this is the new one. It says that it's mattifying, pore blurring, and an invisible finish. Um, this has a very like pastel-y light green color. I'll put it on the back of my hand. I don't want to waste it, but it just, can you see the, the color? It just blends, it's like a, a gel, um, but not a sticky gel. It's like glides, it's almost like it has, it's like a silicone -y gel. That's how I could describe it. The Porefessional is like a creamy version and it really is like a pore filler for sure. This one is just, I don't know, it, it feels so good. It's similar to the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer, um, but not as thick and not as creamy. Um, but it's very, very similar and I like this one, but I like the Cover Effects one a lot better. Um, but this one is really nice and it has the scent that is very similar to the original Professional. It's a little bit different, but I think I ha I don't even blot throughout the day. I'm telling you, this stuff is so good. And um, I'll get a little bit oily around my chin and of course right here on my forehead and around my nose, but not like around 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I'll be having to mess with it. It's by the end of the day. I usually am up by 5.30 getting ready and sometimes I don't get home till 11.30 at night. Um, but I would say around 4.30, 4 or 4.30 is when I'll start to get a little bit shiny and I'll just take some blotting sheets or add some powder or something and I'm good to go. And it'll last me, like my makeup stays on until I go to sleep at night. Well, until I get home to take a shower and get it off my face. Like I'm telling you, sometimes I don't get home till midnight and my face is still like this. This stuff is good. All right, next are going to be three items that I'm gonna put in here together. Um, I talked about this one recently. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is um, very full coverage. I think it's excellent. I don't hard, I hardly ever wear it on its own, but I wear it every single day. I usually mix in with just a tad bit of this Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation. This one's in 54. This one is in number 105. I usually use 104, but I ran out of that one. So I have 105, which is a tad bit darker. Um, and then I'll mix in the Kat Von D and just one drop of this Cover Effects. This is the Custom Cover Drops. 
I can't wear this stuff on its own because it leaves me like a grease, greasy mess all over my face. I just can't wear it on its own. I tried to put it with a primer. No, it doesn't work that way either. Um, if I mix it in together with the foundation, this one and this one and this one, yes, I mix three. Sometimes I do just these two, but sometimes I put all three and today I put all three on. Um, I like the coverage. I like the way that it looks. I like the way that it feels. It doesn't rub off. Um, it's, it's good. I like it. So that's what I've been using. That's been every day for months now is this. And by the way, when I went to Sephora to get this cover effects custom drops, cause I actually went to Sephora and I never go to the physical store. I usually order everything online. And the girl that matched me with this stuff, she matched me wrong and I don't know. I just didn't like my experience in Sephora with the person, whatever. Next has been the Fit Me Concealer. This one is in number 25, which I am completely out of it. I need to get a refill, but I can't find it anywhere. They don't have this shade anywhere. I think I have to order online. Um, and I've been, I didn't bring it here, but there is a, um, Color, the Revlon Color Stay, it looks like this, but it's in a round um, packaging. I mix that one with this one. Um, the Revlon Color Stay is like a really light, light, light color. And this one is not, I don't even want to swatch it on the back of my hand because I don't even have hardly any of it left. So it's really nice. It's really creamy. I use my Beauty Blender to blend it out underneath my eyes. I put it under both eyes and whatever's left over, I'll kind of put it over my top lip and right between my eyebrows right here just to kind of brighten up my face and I really like it for that. Next is going to be this bronzer. This is from Model Co. It says shimmering bronzing powder. That's all it says in the back um, and you can see I have been loving this stuff up. I've hit pan on it. It's awesome. This is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis just to kind of warm up my face all the way around around my forehead and around the sides of my face and down my neck and everything. So this is the one from Monaco. It looks like it's got lots of shimmer. If you guys have gotten this in any of your beauty subscription boxes and it kind of scared you because it looked very shimmery because it does, it does look very, very shimmery in the pan. Um, it's not, it doesn't give you a shiny glow all over. It's really nice. I really like this. I have the full size of it that I got in, my, in a boxy charm box and I don't plan on um, giving away or swapping it away because I really love this bronzer. Next is the highlighter that I've been using. I got this in, I won this in a giveaway from, oh gosh, uh, Laura, oh gosh, oh, I, I, can't, I forgot her name now. I totally blanked out on it. Anyway, um, this is a highlighter from Kevin Aquan. Um, and this one is in Starlight. It's beautiful. I like the packaging. You squeeze this little um, bar down here in the bottom and it kind of pops open. It has a mirror there on the top. And then it's just this beautiful, beautiful shimmery um, highlight. Gorgeous. And I used everything on my face today so that I could show you. Um, next is, where did I leave off? The highlight, the blush. Uh, from Tarte, I got this. I think in like some kind of Christmas swap or something like that a couple of years ago. This is a Tarte blush and this one is in Sweet. I love this one. It has a nice um, pinky and it's got like a gold shimmer to it. A little slight gold shimmer and that's what I do have on my cheeks right now. Um, I really love this blush. It gives a great glow to the cheeks. So I love the way this looks on my cheeks and I use this every single day practically. Most of this stuff I use almost every single day. I try to switch it up every so often, but I always, always go back to these, all these items that I'm gonna show you. These are the ones that I always fall back on. Next, we're gonna to go to eyebrows. And I got this from the Birchbox shop. So I use my points. This is the Anastasia um, Brow Powder Duo. This is in medium brown. Um, it has a nice little mirror in here, which I do use all the time. And then it's got these um, two shades here. I love to use this. I have this little tiny, um, I don't know where I got this brush from. It has a spoolie on one end and it's got that little angled brush on the other side. And I just kind of take it and swirl it all together. And I saw this video from, I, I think it was from Anastasia's um, Facebook page. I'm not sure where it came from. 
um, on how to fill in the brows because brows have been a problem for me because I got very sparse brows and it actually looks like when I don't have anything on like I shaved my eyebrow like right here like I have like hardly any hair in this little spot right here on my eyebrow so it's it's really annoying and so I saw this video on how to fill in the brows and I already had the product and I never I stopped using it because I, I just didn't know what I was doing wrong with it and I finally figured it out so I do have it on my Facebook page um, uh, maybe I'll repost it so it moves up in the line or something like that and it is a great tutorial on how to properly do your brows the professional way it looks awesome and I was like what I can do that and I have been doing it and I think I've been doing a good job I think my eyebrows are on point I got brows now because I normally don't have brows so I think it's been doing a good job so I've been using this and along with that I do use um, the dip brow pomade this one is in medium brown also um, and I just use this one particularly just to um, kind of make the bottom part because my brows are so sparse just to make the bottom so that it's a line and it's not like all funky I don't know how to describe it but it's funky so that it's not funky this kind of like gives it like a shape so the other one fills it in really nicely and this one just shapes up the very bottom so it's not all like weird looking I'm telling you I got some weird eyebrows okay to finish up the brows I didn't know that I had so many Anastasia products um, I like the uh, Anastasia what is this clear brow gel this keeps my brows from falling flat and down I have like the weird Asian brows where they don't like to stay up and they kind of like fall like like your eyelashes are falling down that's exactly what they look like they look like this if I don't put anything on them and throughout the day I'll have to keep brushing them up or something like that with this stuff I don't have to do that I know Jen from Jen Loves Reviews she does not like it because it gives you crunchy brows which it does but I need the crunchy brows because if I don't got crunchy brows my brows are very sad and they're droopy and they're like this so this keeps them up and keeps them acting like like they need to be acting like um, regular people brows so I love it crunchy brows and all I love it all right next I've been using this Stila what is this stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner I got this with um, I got a couple Stila palettes and this was one of the things inside the palette as well this gives the sharpest the crispest line I have a few um, eyeliners that I really love um, this is one of the ones that I really love it has a great super fine tip I can get the finest straightest line this is what I use every single day on my eyes it's awesome so you can see um, my eyeliner has been on since I don't know this morning what time is it now it is gonna be six o'clock almost in the evening and I put this on around nine o'clock or so in the morning so my eyeliner is still look, this is kind of drooping on the bottom but anyway so it has the finest tip right here you can see how fine that tip is and you can get a super fine line you can build it up I, I'm doing this like backwards so it's a little bit difficult <laughs> but you can build it up and it is the blackest line um, and you can just get the finest little tip that you need I've been using this for s quite a while and it's been great so this stuff awesome and it lasts all day long next has been the mascara is what's your type this is um, from the balm I got this in some kind of beauty box I want to say it was probably boxycharm because boxycharm usually gives you all these great full-size products so um, I think it does a great job that's what I have on my eyelashes right now it gives me pretty decent volume and I like the way that it keeps my lashes open and and nice and and kind of bold they don't flake off throughout the day they last the whole day um, I never have any issues with this stuff the brush is just a regular wand it kind of goes like a little bit thinner like it's a little bit has a little bit of a dip in it but I really like this next is from Stila that's what I have on my lips right now it is like a pinky grayish purple color that's how I describe it 
and it is a, a matte, it's the Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's not super drying on the lips, but it can get drying on the lips, and it lasts all day long. Like literally four o'clock in the afternoon, I still have lip color on, and I can eat, and I can drink, and I still have lip color on. You might get a little bit of a color that's um, going away right on the inside of the lip, um, but for the most part, it is what it is. Um, and you might, I, I never reapply. I'll just put like some chapstick on just to kind of refresh my lips around that four o'clock mark. And um, because sometimes I'm going to school afterwards um, and it's, I'm fine with it. I don't have to put nothing else on because I don't bring this with me. I leave it at home. So I don't reapply throughout the day. It is what it is and it lasts all day long. Next I have from Bella Pierre. This is a, it's called a gel lip line and it's so creamy it goes on so easy and it doesn't tug mm -hmm. and pull right on the lips there. or anything this one is in number zero three cinnamon and i love the way this looks with this lip liner so the combo of these two together i've been really loving i think it looks great mm, it's nice and sometimes i'll add another lip color on top of the whole thing but that takes away the longevity of this liquid lipstick it doesn't last as long when you put another color on top like a regular, um, like a lip cream or something like that. So um, it, it does take away from it, but I really like it. Next I have is from L'Oreal Infallible. I got this in a Target B box and I really like this stuff. It helps my face stay put and I like it. I think it's good. And the last things I have are my Mega Pro 2 and my Lorac Pro Palette. Um, that is what I have on my eyes right now. Actually, I think the only thing that I'm using today out of this particular palette is this color custard right up here in the top. And I just use this one here um, just as on the top here and kind of like all over, like from the crease all the way up, just so that I can have like some better blending between the darker colors. Um, but I do, and I do use these three shades down here, um, these three right here quite often but um oh no i'm using melon actually i have the color melon right in my crease and i use that as the main blending shade in my crease um, and then the other color that i have on is um, i have light bronze um, right on the lid and then i have garnet in the crease so then I also have the deep purple with a little bit of the garnet mixed under my eye down here just to um, kind of warm it up and, you know, I don't know, gives it a little more sexier look. So those are my favorites um, that I've been using and I, I pretty much use all of these things almost every single day, just almost every single day, really. So if you always wanted to know what is it that I'm wearing on my lids and, and what makeup it is, this pretty much is, is the stuff that I go to every single day with little varieties here and there, but that's the main gist of it all. So that is it. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you again in another video. Bye.